So we made it to the Three Forks Trailhead here in Colorado, South San Juan Wilderness. We're getting ready to leave the trailhead. It's about 6.30, we got a really late start. Interesting getting here, but we made it. And watch yesterday's video if you missed that. But we are getting ready to hike in Three Forks Trail. We're gonna get in a couple miles, hopefully, maybe to Conehays Falls, That's and okay. then set up camp and call it an evening. Hey there, my name's Ben, and welcome to my journey. Whether I'm hiking, mountain biking, kayaking, fishing, camping, backpacking, sailing, or overall traveling, it'll be an adventure. Subscribe for a new adventure every day as I explore our planet using my sense of adventure as my compass. So we're getting ready to roll out of the Three Forks Trailhead and start headed up. So the plan is we got four nights um, in the South San Juan Wilderness and we'll see what comes. We're gonna try to head up the Three Forks and see what happens. Leaving the car here, we'll be back in five days. Here we go. All right, here we go. Got six people with us here. And we'll be back in five days. Well, if all things go good, but Three Forks Trail. Awesome. This is why you come to Colorado. I'm feeling the altitude right now because we were just at the Bahamas for a week and just flew up here. And we're going to be hiking. The trailhead's at 10,000 feet and we're hiking to 10.5 tonight. And definitely feeling the altitude here. So we're just gonna hike in a couple miles till we find a good campsite. See the shadows starting to creep over there. There's whole whole herd of cows right in the pasture here. That was absolutely amazing. Made it to the three forks okay, junction. On right. seven one two. The whole crew. I think we're going up this valley. Beautiful three forks meadow here. Crossing the middle fork here. Yeah, the cows are right there. We don't want to camp right next to the cows. And the site's not great, but if you're in a punch, there is a site right after you cross the creek. But we're gonna push on maybe a mile and a half, maybe, up to Canohase Falls. We heard there's a good site above that. Might be rolling in the dark, but we got headlamps. 
we don't want to be camping right next to that. Yeah, so the plan for this entire trip is basically going to hike in and base camp for two nights. Tomorrow we'll head up probably to Lake Ann and maybe Fish Lake and just check everything out. And then the next day we'll move camp to the Adams Fork along the Continental Divide. And then we'll hit Summit Peak on a day hike and then hike out the last day. That's the plan, but things can change. Sorry about you. Tomorrow we're gonna shoot that pass right up there. That's the plan. We got about a mile to go to and they have falls. Right up here is Penelope's Falls and we'll try to get the camp set up. The sun is just about set. We would have been here in plenty of time if it wasn't for the um, fiasco of the blown tires. So definitely glad we're able to be here tonight. Using the last bit of daylight here. So we made it to camp here and all the good spots were taken so we kind of just pitched our tents wherever we found a decent spot. So we made it to the camp here just below or just above Kanohe's Falls. Um, we weren't the first ones here so we didn't get a great spot but it'll work for tonight. We'll regroup in the morning and today was a pretty good travel day. We made it here. A couple obstacles but we made it to our destination. Hiked in about four miles from Free Forks Trailhead all the way up the middle fork. So tomorrow we'll be doing a day hike probably all around here. So stay tuned for that and I'll see you guys tomorrow.